This is a reproduction one I had got um, when they had come out because I loved her hair. The hair was really, really amazing. But it's not one of my favorite face molds, and I had got her on sale. So I'm going to put her, I'm going to let them swap heads and bodies because I love this one more than this one, which is fine. She's still going to look cute in clothes, and I'll probably give her to my mom one day. And this isn't one of my favorite face molds, I guess, because of the nose, but regardless, nevertheless. So what you will end up doing is going to the back of your Cabbage Patch Kits. This one has plastic. So I will end up, okay, it's taped. We can untape it, undo it, and remove that, okay? So I like this size body on a Cabbage Patch. To me, this is what a Cabbage Patch body should look like. Not the little dumplings. So this is a difference, and this is, they made them appear to almost be the same length. But it's obvious they're quite not. These are little squigglies. So I'm going to... Wow, she's got a plastic tie. Okay. Oh my god, they got that big head on this little bitty body? Are you serious? What is wrong with them? Mm -hmm. Why don't they know how to make Cabbage Patch Kids anymore? I mean, come on. It's not even a full Cabbage Patch Kit. They should just call it a little Sprite. Or a sp what do they call those? A, a little, a little something. It's not even a full cabbage patch. Oh my lord! Look at the difference. So normal cabbage patch kid. Look at the body. Oh my god! It looks like a runt. She's like a runt. Oh, I don't like these little bodies at all. I don't like them. Well, she looks like she's got a little pee pee. It's her belly button. There we go. So, anyway, the head is too big and it makes it flop over because the head is actually the same size as your normal cabbage patch. Now, this is a reproduction um, that I bought years, a few years back on eBay or something. I don't know. But I bought it so I could take some of these and I could have body replacements, which is fine because the hair it looks amazing and thick and she'll still look cute on this body, but I want this head on this body. Don't worry, I have a redhead. <laughs> I had a choice between the redhead and the blonde, so I decided to replace the um, the blonde instead. Wait a minute, do they have the same face? Oh. Okay, yeah, I like the redhead more, so I'm going to just do this one. I hate all the smaller bodies on them. That's why I had got these when they were on clearance. But I'm going to actually buy fabric, and I'm going to, I have a pattern where I took one of these apart, an old one, and I can actually cut it out and make a body just like this. So I'll end up doing something like that, but I can't find it right now, it's in my storage. So I'm going to get ready to turn these around, and I'm going to cut the tie. So you will need to buy a bag of cable ties. These came from Walmart, $3 and some change. There. Simple enough. That's it. See what I mean? And the one I'm going to use is thicker and better. Exactly, Rosworth. The red head is absolutely adorable. So, and the hair is really thick. I think it's uneven, to be honest. I think the blonde has, yeah, the blonde's hair looks a lot, the blonde's hair is thicker. Or either it just feels that way, but it's super soft, and she's cute. I'll end up putting her on a bigger body. She does have the longest hair. Oh my gosh, the blonde. The blonde does have longer hair, and this side of her ponytail is shorter than the other side. But nevertheless, it doesn't matter. I'm keeping her like that. This one, I'll probably end up, um... I'm just going to end up putting her on a bigger body, but right now, for the moment, I, I can't deal with these little bodies. They should have little heads to go with these little bodies. But I will end up making it a um, bigger body. I have to figure out where the fabric is. I have this fabric that I'll end up ordering some and then make it. Push that aside. Dang, the other one was so much easier. There we 
There we go. Ah, I had it and then I lost it. No, I thought I cut it and I didn't. Okay, let me move this head over so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Um, wow, they made the older ones better. I think it's a different company that made these. I wish they would do them again. Oh, there we go. Okay, so her head is off. Perfect. Okay, so see this one, how thin it is. These are very thin, very, very thin. And the one I'm actually going to put in is thicker. And it'll last longer. You can also get these at Dollar Tree Store, but I go with the thicker ones. Um, her body needs more stuffing. I like it to be nice and stuffed. Well, you know what? Let's just borrow some from your sister. <laughs> you know, why not? She's here. You know, she's right there. So I'm putting it in and I'm spreading it across. Yeah, that works. A little more stuffing. Here, let's borrow a little bit more out of you. It's just that she's a donor body. There. Okay, so when you put it in, you want to make sure that this part, this part is facing like this. So it's going to be facing like that when you go insert. So when you insert, it's going to be going around where I can go like this. Well, I have more cotton. I have a whole bag, box of stuffing, so I can just restuff it with some more. But I just hate those small bodies. Okay, so you hear the clicking. So now I can put the JoJo Siwa head on top of put it on this body and to be honest they need to stop with those little short bodies I mean seriously now you gotta make sure you're applying pressure like this so that you actually get the doll's head on the body correctly Ta -da! and now she has the right size body see now it goes with her head so now she's proper size see they have the exact same size head. I think they did this to save on fabric, which is a no-no. They know they need to stop. Give Cabbage Patch Kids back their regular bodies. Give them these bodies so we can actually find clothes to fit them. Now I'm gonna cut this at an angle. Ooh, it's a lot thicker. So I cut a little bit at the angle. And I'm going to show you why. So I use these. You can also use a pair of small pliers. And you want to push that inside of the part of the neck like this. Are you shaking your head? No, sir. Cause I ain't gonna tell them what you go say. I just come in here and say, I'm sorry for talking to Eric like that. Let it go, don't worry. But I'm tired of listening to him. Okay, so I'm part inside. So you can see it's bent in, and I'm pressing, pressing, pressing. So this way, there's no sharp piece sticking out of the back of the Cabbage Patch Kids neck. Go in. It's got plenty of space to go in. You can feel it. Okay. There it is. Then I have to pull this over. I don't buy my Cabbage Patch Kids to resell them, so that's why I don't care about switching them and stuff like that, or doing things like this. Let 
No, they don't come with ear piercings. I'd be glad when they come with um normal bodies and the ones they keep making that are like inspired by the vintage ones don't even look nothing inspired by vintage. They look hideously. And the fashions are nowhere what they used to be. Alright, come on. The point is stuck right there. That's it. Come on. There we go. Got it. So now I'm pulling the little flap here in the back to cover where we did it. So they make enough where you can actually cover where the plastic thing is. The tie. Ta-da! There it is. So now she has been completely full head swap and everything's nice and she looks super happy. Now let's see if her dress is going to fit. Now that she's gotten bigger and she's a little older and she gained a little weight, which happens as we all get older, so there's nothing wrong with that. But we expect our Cabbage Patch Kids to be nice and plump. And it's going to fit. So far. Oh, actually it is going to fit. It does fit. Hmm, cool. And I even put more stuffing in her. That's a good thing. Now, it's still cute. Oh. Okay, yes, we gotta put underwear on her. Okay. Now we're putting our panties back on because they don't wear diapers anymore. I'm like this. These underwear, I hope they fit. If they don't, I'm going to stretch them. Oh, they do fit. So they stretch enough to actually fit. Like that. Without any problems. See? So the clothes do fit. Even though it, they are made for two different sizes. Each Cabbage Patch Kid are two different sizes. The clothes fit. So that's a very plus. So for all the collectors of Cabbage Patch that this does fit so you can do like a little swap and you shouldn't have any problems so that's a plus sign and I thought her outfit was so adorable oh my gosh couldn't resist so do not go to other places and pay like a hundred and all of that crap for them so apparently they're popular so there she is and it fits her perfectly it fits fine if you can even close, even though it's a bigger body, it fits. And here are her shoes. Oh, they do fit nice and snug. Oh, well, actually, look at that. Now, this is that little bitty hobbit body. But, look. The feet are the exact same size. There's not much difference in the leg length. Or the um, foot, the foot, same size. Crazy. They might as well just make the body bigger and make the dolls the way they should be. See? Now, she's got her clothes and everything, and she looks absolutely adorable. I can take some pink lace and sew ruffles around there to make it cover so it's a little bit longer. Yay. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope it helps you out.